Coach Education Podcast is soon putting out a new episode in which we compare schools and prisons. Are they alike? Are they different? Join us for this powerful comparison coming soon to the Back Porch Education Podcast. They're measuring it against worth, and I think that that ultimately she's putting it at the level of of what is our life worth. You know, mm-hmm. is, are we doing enough significant in school, or would it just be better to skip all this and go live life? Uh, you know, what what is the criteria for a well lived life? Mm-hmm. And and I think that um, I think that we have a lot of reasons to look hard at what we do in school. The, the teachers generally, I know not entirely, but but generally in a, in a traditional school type setting, homeschooling even more so, but in a, even in a traditional school, teachers are a lot of what determines what goes on in a given classroom. And I, I think we need to, we need to consider the metaphor that maybe not even the majority, but a significant portion of our students feel like they're in prison rather than a place of, Happiness. <laughs> I, don't know. Right. I don't even know. Uh, Growth. A, 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 yeah. A significance that this is worth being in, and I don't mind being here because I'm getting something out of it. I think I think many of the students feel like they're just being babysat or worse. Yeah. Kept busy doing time. Uh, yeah, and, and, I came across a, a quote recently uh, from Marshall McLuhan, who I don't really know that much about, but. Um, you know, he his he said that schools had become or were becoming um, places of detention rather than attention. Yep. And I think that that's a that's a pretty good, albeit sad, synopsis of what's happening sometimes in some places. Right. I, I don't want to get on uh, the microphone and just sort of lament education generally all over the place everywhere. I think that there are some really wonderful things happening. Uh, but this is a notion that we, we're going to have to run up against and, and deal with. You don't eat your vegetables.